in Memphis. This is News Channel 3 at 6. First at 6, a Fayette County Elementary School principal considered by the superintendent to be passionate and a valued employee facing criminal charges tonight. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hirsch. WRG's Mike Siriani has details on what led to her arrest. Charges were filed on the principal for concealing uh, evidence and, and not working with this investigation. Serious accusations against Dr. Fabre Ford, principal at Southwest Elementary School in Fayette County, stemming from an incident February 2nd at the school. Where a teacher had been struck in the face with some sort of a metal thermos or canteen, uh, and the injury was such that the teacher was actually sent home on concussion protocols. According to the affidavit of complaint, the school resource officer was not made aware of the incident. There are certain incidents that occur in a school that school officials are required to report to law enforcement. One of those incidents being any type of an aggravated assault where anyone is, is harmed or there's any threat to safety or health. When the SRO learned of the incident, Deputy Chief Ray Garcia says the officer wasn't able to get information from Principal Ford. Told him that she had handled the situation and that he didn't need to worry about it. The SRO reached out to investigators, also looking into allegations the teacher may have actually assaulted the student. And witness statements taken from students were not handed over to investigators. Garcia says Ford's refusal to cooperate led to her arrest. There was nothing put forward other than to say it had been handled and that there was no need to further discuss it. Tuesday, Fayette County Schools issued a statement calling Dr. Ford passionate and highly regarded. The statement went on to say they are cooperating with law enforcement. In Fayette County, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Dr. Ford is scheduled to be arraigned in Fayette County General Sessions Court February 22nd.